We'll worry about that after we do this though, since I'm I don't even know if I'm close to where the mission is. The slaughter something three thousand or whatever it was called. Hello. Interesting. I am Grouse, primary steward to Typhon de Leon. Because my counterpart is inferior in every way, De Leon has charged me with greeting you. So greetings. The pleasure is all yours. Alright then. Sparrow. Ooh, hello. Let us sort through our slew of equipment then. Pretty sure everything I have is going to be worse. I, I doubt I have an upgrade for anything. What's my SMG? 145 times 3, 290. Two ninety two four thirty five. Well, that one's a little a little less, but current um assault rifle is like six hundred something, yeah, six sixty nine. Like, I don't think any of these shotguns are going to be better, but I'll double check really quick. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think they'd be better. 660 times 5, that is 4,000 plus 27%. Just do this. Let's see, a sniper is 10 something. It's still gonna be lower than this one. That's a shield that's lower. That's a grenade that's lower. Shield that's lower. Not for me. Don't care, don't care, not for me. Incendiary cryo, I don't care. Still don't care about cryo. You've got enemies and I've got ammo. So, what is all back here? New friend? What in the hell? Why do you have an arm? Why do you have three arms? Okay then. Is there anything else back here? that the answer is no. This has got to be something for later then. This has got to be a mission for later. Got it. Hello. Mellow on shit. Alrighty, Where moving on. Hey, Vault Hunter! I'm Sparrow. Typhon asked me to show you around. <laughs> Sparrow, what the hell? Typhon says the universe is in danger. We don't have time for a tour. Go to hell, Grouse. Tour time! FYI, I did all the interior decorating. Nice, right? Just because you're marooned on a deadly planet doesn't mean you can't make it feel like home. Sparrow, open your eyes. The Vault Hunter doesn't like you, and you're irrelevant to their mission. Whatever. You're irrelevant to... my ass. Master hates you, Sparrow. He'd scrap you in a heartbeat. Next time his toilet breaks, you're a goner. Toilets perform a vital function. I'd be honored. Anyway. Hello. What took you so long, Vault Hunter? We got a universe to save! Wow! You were expecting someone less handsome? Typhon de Leon, the first Vault Hunter. Hello. Glad you made it! Bet it was a schlep! Here's a little something for making the trip. 
What in the fuck? What the hell? I want that gun. Well, it runs on iridium. So if you got some, I'm always happy to make you a gun or two. All right now, I gotta show you something. This way. What the fuck? Hey, Bob, I don't remember that. Taking the vault hunter to the machine. Don't let anyone inside, Halloween or otherwise. Now's our chance to prove our worth. Old matter. The end of the universe. Oh, you're something. <laughs> Hello. This laser whip's been handy. Helps me keep up in my sundown years. Plus, whips are great. Lasers too. Nice flip. By now you figured out Pandora's a planet-sized vault. <clears throat> Meridians called it the Ooh, Great Vault or something. A long time ago, they crammed an interdimensional monstrosity in there called the Destroyer. Wasn't easy, but they did it. The Iridians sacrificed their whole civilization to lock that thing away. But they were smart, those aliens. The Iridians had a backup plan, just in case someone was Meshuggah enough to release the Destroyer. If that happens, well, they named it the Destroyer for a reason. Fair enough. Give me this. Later says this door leads to the machine. Whatever that is. Oh, right. She told me. She thinks this machine is the one that closed the Great Vault. So I says, what's the Great Vault? And she looks at me for a long time. The Great Vault, she says. That's why the Iridians aren't around anymore. All right. One more Typhon log somewhere to, to grab and then we'll be good. <laughs> Behind this door is an ancient Iridian astrokinetic vault powered phase engine something rather. I just call it the machine. Pretty nifty. And the colors. Those Iridians knew how to make an entrance, right? This was the machine that locked away the destroyer the first time. And it could do it again too. But we need four vault keys to get in. You already got three of them, right? You know it. What's the last vault key? Ain't no paradise. Promethea. I found the first vault there, you know. There's one last key, and I know where it is. Heads up, though. It's kind of a schlep, and it won't be easy. Yeah, but I'm sure you're up for it. You're a vault hunter, like me. I'm the house vault hunter. You're gonna need it. I'll take a free gun. That I'll sell. Malawan set up a buttload of bases between us and the vault. This is exactly why I tried to keep Negra the Fail secret in the first place. But I guess that bird's out of its cage. You gotta get the last key. I hid it near the vault. There's a bridge that leads to the vault side. Head there, and good luck with Malawan. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, am I going this way? No. Canonization. Homeopathological. Is there anything back here, or is this just like a, a nowhere? It's the road to nowhere. There's a chest back here. There's two chests back here. There's three chests back here, actually. Four chests, I lied, again. I don't know why I opened those. I know I don't have any reason to pick up ammo normally. Alright. Footsteps of giants. We have met Typhon de Leon. The midget that he is. What are all these quakes that are happening? I will give your life purpose. Typhon began work on a prototype defensive cannon. We're going to finish it so you can put the hurt on those Malawan putzes. To get it firing, we're going to need some captive guardian energy. First, take this energy trap. Okay. Guardian energy to power the cannon. It's gonna look so cool. We'll just shoot it into the sky and not hurt anyone. I will shoot my new weapon where I please. Vault Hunter, you'll use the energy trap to capture the guardian energy. Now head to the temple. Okay. Oh, and you have a mission for me now. Mission time! 
Find your inner harmony. Oh, and get Typhon's research. So we gave all of Typhon's research data to this healer bot named Turk. But now he's gone off and started his own practice. If Malawan gets him, they'll find all that data and come kill us. You gotta go to his office and get it back. Okay. Turn is a threat to our very survival. If Malawan gets a hold of that data, they will find us. You need to kill that idiot and scavenge his memory core. What? Don't kill him! He's a super nice guy and a great listener. He's even helping me deal with this absolute dickbag who's always creating a hostile work environment. Well, would you rather be happy or alive? What a weird question. So far, I've always been both. Come to Turn's Aura Centering Center for a free energy alignment session with me. Turn. Healing is on the horizon. So listen, Turn's a master healer. His ideas are a little out there, but just roll with it. Use the intercom and tell him whatever he needs to hear. Oh, and please don't kill him. Or do. No. Plus, if you don't kill him, Turn gives you a shiny piece of iridium at the end of every session. Anyone who gives you a crystal is definitely legit. I'm not sure that's how that works. Greetings, prospective patient. I sense why Sparrow and Grouse sent you, and I can help. But first, are you in a consciousness-centered place and prepared for growth? Um, yeah. Ah, but is your energy properly aligned? Let me observe your energy flow for a moment. Sure. I'm what? sensing that you have a very stressful work environment, and that you feel the fate of the universe rests on your shoulders. Interesting. Now I see your energy is flowing. Keep aligning. Okay. This is stupid. Slightly more to the left. Will you just open the door? There we are. You are now properly right, then. aligned and prepared for healing. Please, enter my sanctum. Remember, this is a sanctified space where all life forms can coexist harmoniously. Sure, whatever. Your first diagnostic session is free. After that, I charge a nominal fee of $1,000 per cosmic realignment. Now, to begin, please lie on the couch. <clears throat> um, I can't do that. As you wish, your path will take you where it must. Anyway, we'll move on. Now I'd like you to express yourself creatively. It exfoliates the soul. Why are we going to therapy? And just go nuts on the canvas. Yes! Excellent! Now paint whatever is in your heart. Your soul's heart. Alright, we're just gonna make a fucking... I don't know what I'm making. There, there's, there's this, I guess. Hold on, hold on. 